Cap like, no, that's the realest record you got. You know, that's the most honest record you got. That's the best record you got on this album. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm telling you, I'm not putting it out. Give it to me. Wow. Give it to me. I'm going to show you it's a hit record. You tripping. Give it to me. He gave it to us. That's why 3-2 on the beginning. Yeah, yeah, it was on the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know? Mama put me out at only 14, so I start selling crap. I'm saying he gave it to us, and one day it's arguably one of the best records, most meaningful records. UGK ever was a part of. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. The only person that I think from that era that has, like, still has the perfect voice, though, Charlie is Wilson Charlie. Too. Yeah, Uncle I was about Charlie. to say, I knew you were going to talk about Wilson. that song with you Uncle and Charles. you did with Charlie, man, about, because he talked about God. Lord, I'm just a G. That so, song so is this the was hardest a very, song. So th- Dear Lord, I know you don't condone the things I be doing out here in these streets. This was a very pivotal moment in Charlie Wilson's life mm-hmm. when we recorded with Charlie Wilson. This was, you know, Charlie Wilson had, had become a very bad drug addict. Correct. And had lost it all. Mm-hmm. The only thing that he had was his voice. He fell in love with a very religious woman. I'm, I think she might have been a mm-hmm. pastor. But I know she was a deeply religious woman and she pulled him she out pulled of the darkness. Out. You know what I'm saying? And by the grace of God, he that. still had his voice. Mm-hmm. So when we met him, he was still very, and to this day, very, very grounded and very thankful and very humble. Wow. That, you know, not only that he's still alive, no longer on drugs, right? Um, still got his voice and people still appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, which is really a precursor at that time for where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I'm blessed that I still have my voice. I ain't fucked up my voice. No, your voice is mm-hmm. dope. You know? All of that shit, you know what I'm saying? I can actually still write in my mind at a, at a pretty high level. You know what I'm saying? I just did this song with Benny the Butcher, and that boy's rapping his ass off on, on that motherfucker. Cool. And, 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 then, and then I went in there and I said, yeah, I can rap my ass off too. <laughs> you know? So it's going to be a fool, and we sending it over to somebody that can really, really rap his ass wow. off. So Those- um, I, 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 can, I can hang with the best of them still in my mind. That verse, though, when Pimp speaking on the old Lord, you know, when he talking at the first, man, that's so it's profound. It's speaking to something, bro. I pray that you can overlook the wrong that I done in my life. It's no, that, that's where he was, man. Like, he really... Pimp had a very, very deep belief in what he believed God had for him. And he wasn't taking no from nobody in terms of that. And he eventually got to what he believed God had in store for him. Wow. It was a certain way he wanted to be seen in this world. And he is seen in this world as that. The mm-hmm. way that y'all think about Pimp C is exactly how he would want y'all to think wow, about him. he did it. I mean, it's, he has actually become the legend he had always aspired yeah. to be. Mm-hmm. And I hate to see him gone, not just for me, but the man had children, the man had a wife. They, you know, they deserved more time mm-hmm. with him in my eyes. I had, look, it, I had had one of the greatest lives in the world that I was able to share with him. I regret nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, we actually got to say everything we needed to say with him, with each other before he passed away. A lot of people didn't get that closure. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I can sit here and say I have no regrets about everything. I did everything I was supposed to do for him. This was my older brother in the studio. I was his older brother. But no, I wasn't trying to hear that shit. This nigga was my tutor, man. This nigga tried to steal me right. But before he passed, we got back on the same page. Because when he came home, like life was real different for Pimp. Pimp was really, really loved and wanted, and everybody wanted time with him. So he was getting pulled by so many people mm-hmm. with so much money and all these different things that didn't include me. And I'm like, that's fine. If that's what you want to do, go do it. But it's not what you think it is, mm-hmm. because I did it, and it's not easy, and it took me years. But he has to go through it sometimes. Yeah, yeah. it took me two years. After he went into county and eventually mm-hmm. into the state. Then it took me two years to figure out how to do a solid show without him. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was performing and doing a show, but like, damn, we can't do that song without Chad. Damn, why we didn't do this? It took a while to get that to that mm-hmm. point. You know what I'm saying? I felt and it, he yeah. went out and tried to do so by himself. It was tough. After he came home, you gotta figure out the order. 
Yeah, I figured out the interaction. Because y'all so did everything different. together. And shit was so different. He had never really been out there right. consistently by himself. So he'd have to do every verse. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Ain't no breaks. It's different when it's just you. I commend solo artists. But they got a lot on their plate. Thank mm. you. You you that verses. I miss pimp so much when you're doing that verses, bro. Like, cause you you had the shirt on. And I was like, man, I I cussed Bobo out and everybody else. I'm I'm mad. <laughs> I'm, I, it's just personal to me. You know what I mean? Like everything about it. It's supposed to be here. I don't yeah, like he this. I'm upset that. cause I just cause I'm missing it. I know what it is. Come on, boys, kicking back. Laying in the shade Ain't nobody tripping Cause the money I already made yeah. <laughs> So we, had to, we even had to do it different that was Like I literally had to make I didn't want to rap his verses Yeah On verses So we had to mix the We had to mix the songs we presented In a way To where his vocals were As loud as mine would be Live mm -hmm. on stage Wow So people could really feel him Right In the room you know what I'm saying? So we had to literally go and get like original versions of records and go in the studio and elevate the volume wow. on his parts because I wanted his words to live in his voice in that room. I didn't want to rap his 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 vocals, his lyrics. I can't hear you. In mm -hmm. that, so that that was the main thing I wanted out of that evening is to let him did a actually, great job, man. his voice actually live Thank in you. that room. Thank you. And and I'm gonna say one day, just the last and final question. It's over. But I have a statement. Okay, wait just a minute before you make it. <laughs> yeah, one let, day. let you close with the yeah, statement. You're gonna, gonna close with the statement. Last. Okay. One day, did you know that song was gonna be be big as it is to this day? This world we living in, man, it ain't nothing but drama. Everyone want our home. Yeah. One day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Pimp did. That's he my knew favorite it. song. Yes, Pimp did. I know it. You, I knew I, I had to get that question. So, that, that was for her. So One Day was originally a 3-2 solo song for his first album. He comes over and he sits with us and brings us his album. He plays the whole album. One Day is the last song on the album. And he, after he played the album, he said, "But that, I'm, I, he said, so that's it. But the last song, that's it's not gonna be on the album. It's too slow. It's too sad." And Chad looked at him like he was crazy. Like, "What are you talking about? That's the best record on your album." He's like, "Yeah, but that shit too sad. It's too slow. It's not gonna work. It's not because three two is like me. He's a rapper, rapper. Correct, right? wanna, correct. You know, so it didn't really for him. It didn't present the best version of his ability, his capabilities. Right? Chad was like, "No, that's the realest record you got. You know, that's the most honest record you got. That's the best record." You got on this album. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm still. I'm telling you, I'm not putting it out. Give it to me. Wow. Give it to me. I'm gonna show you it's a hit record. You tripping? Give it to me. He gave it to us. That's why three two on the beginning. Yeah, yeah, it was on the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know. Mama put me out at only fourteen, so I start selling crack, cocaine, and codeine. I'm saying he gave it to us, and one day it's arguably one of the best records, most meaningful records, UGK ever was a part of. He went and got Ronnie Spencer. Ronnie told me the story. Try to get out of the studio, let him do what he do. Pimp, she said, that's the best thing to do. Let him do him. So I, I like I, that. So I, I, I did the song, and uh, it was like in probably about three or four minutes, I finished the song. That's and, cool. And uh, they was all gone to lunch, and when they came back, it was a wrap. I was sitting outside by the pool, and I hear all this screaming and hollering and jumping, man. And, and they all come outside and say, man, come back up. I said, what's going on? I said, y'all don't like it? He said, no, it's a hit. We love it. I'm going to do it for Boss Talk 101. Hey. hey. Fool, one day you hear, and then you go gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day you hear, baby, and then you're gone. To be on the front, you know, mm -hmm. and how it all happened. Mm -hmm. And people they didn't, sound so people, much like Ronald Isaac. They didn't even know it wasn't Ronald. No, you to didn't even day. know. No, no I, I didn't know. Years, for I years. didn't know. I was like, what? Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.